Have you ever been curious about what it's like to grow up in the spotlight of global fame while striving to carve out your own path? In this video, we delve into the extraordinary life of Malia Obama, exploring her journey from a childhood in Chicago to navigating the complex world of fame and success. We'll uncover how she balances her high-profile background with her personal ambitions and how her unique experiences have shaped her into a formidable figure in her own right. Ready to dive in? So, guys, quickly join our YouTube channel. The Early Years of Malia Obama Malia Obama's early life was marked by a blend of ordinary experiences and extraordinary circumstances. Born on July 4, 1998 in Chicago, Malia Ann Obama was the first child of Barack and Michelle Obama. Growing up in the Hyde Park neighborhood, a community known for its cultural and intellectual vibrancy, Malia enjoyed a relatively normal childhood, despite her father's rising political prominence. As the daughter of a state senator, Malia's early years were filled with typical childhood activities and milestones. The Obamas, keen on providing their daughters with a grounded upbringing, made sure that Malia and her younger sister Sasha had access to enriching experiences. Malia was involved in a variety of activities, including soccer, swimming, and flute lessons. She developed a love for these activities early on, reflecting her parents' efforts to keep their children engaged in both academic and recreational pursuits. In 2004, when Malia was just six years old, her father's election to the US Senate brought a new dimension to her life. The family's growing visibility did not alter their commitment to providing Malia and Sasha with a sense of normalcy. The Obamas worked hard to shield their daughters from the trappings of political life, ensuring that they could enjoy childhood experiences without excessive public scrutiny. However, the family's public profile inevitably increased when Barack Obama announced his candidacy for the presidency in 2007. During the campaign, Malia, then nine, became a familiar face at political rallies and events. Despite the added attention, the Obama family tried to maintain a balance between public life and private moments. Malia's experiences during this period were a mix of excitement and adaptation, as she began to understand the significant role her family was playing on a national stage. In January 2009, Following Barack Obama's inauguration as the 44th President of the United States, Malia and Sasha moved to the White House. At the age of 10, Malia transitioned from a life in Chicago to one within the walls of America's most famous residence. This shift brought with it a new set of experiences, from the grandeur of the White House to the challenges of living under constant security. Despite these changes, Malia and Sasha were encouraged to maintain their normal routines as much as possible, attending school, participating in extracurricular activities, and spending time with family. Throughout her early years, Malia Obama was a symbol of youthful exuberance and grace under the weight of her family's prominence. Her childhood, marked by a blend of normal activities and extraordinary circumstances, laid the foundation for the person she would become someone who navigated the complexities of her public life with both poise and resilience. What surprised you most about Malia Obama's early life? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Childhood in the White House Few children have the unique experience of spending their formative years in the White House. Malia Obama moved into 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue at the tender age of 10, when her father became the 44th President of the United States in 2009. Malia and her younger sister Sasha adjusted to life under the constant gaze of secret service protection, high-profile media scrutiny, and a whirlwind of diplomatic and ceremonial duties. These formative years offered Malia a blend of normalcy and exceptional privilege. From summer camps to school functions, she still participated in typical activities. While her father's status meant she also attended important state dinners and met global leaders like Nelson Mandela and Pope Benedict XVI. Despite the obvious privileges, Malia's upbringing was grounded in an effort by her parents to maintain a sense of normality. As Michelle Obama revealed in interviews and her memoir Becoming, the first couple strove to keep their daughters' lives as ordinary as possible under extraordinary circumstances. They insisted that the girls make their own beds, set alarms, and take responsibility for their schoolwork. Malia's early life in the White House, while unparalleled in many ways, was also a balanced blend of privilege and personal responsibility. Education and personal development Malia graduated from Sidwell Friends School in Washington, D.C. in 2016 and opted for a gap year before attending Harvard University in 2017. 
Her time at Harvard marked a pivotal period where she actively sought to step out of the shadows of her parents and carve her own path. During her gap year, she travelled extensively with family and friends, visiting places like South America and Indonesia, where she experienced cultural diversity, far removed from her life in the White House. Harvard University is known for its rigorous academic programs and elite student body. As the daughter of a former president, Malia's enrollment there sparked media attention, but she remained remarkably low profile throughout her time at the institution. Her education was not limited to academic accomplishments. Malia displayed early interest in the entertainment industry and completed internships that positioned her for success. Notably, she landing internships on Lena Dunham's Girls and at the Weinstein Company before working as a production assistant on Halle Berry's CBS sci-fi drama series Extant. She also spent time at the Weinstein Company before pursuing more serious roles in the world of filmmaking. These experiences, combined with her education, armed her with the tools to develop her creative passions further. Which of Malia's achievements are you most impressed by? Share your favourites in the comments. A budding career in filmmaking. As someone often viewed through the lens of her famous parents, Malia made deliberate choices to establish her own identity. Her decision to work in film and television demonstrates not only her passion for storytelling but also her commitment to creating something of her own. Malia has already worked with some of the most renowned figures in the entertainment world, including Donald Glover, who hired her as a writer on the hit Amazon Prime series Swarm. By 2023, Malia had made a significant breakthrough in her career when she wrote and directed her first short film, The Heart, which premiered at prestigious festivals such as the Toronto International Film Festival and the Sundance Film Festival. The film, which explored themes of guilt and grief, was met with critical acclaim and earned Malia the Best Live Action Short Award. Adopting the name Malia Ann, a mix of her first and middle names, she signalled her desire to establish herself as a creative force independent of her famous last name. This move also demonstrated her understanding of the pressure and expectations that come with being an Obama and her desire to forge a new identity for herself. How do you think growing up in the public eye has shaped Malia's career choices? Let us know your opinion. Private living. As of 2024, Malia Obama has largely kept her personal life private, including details about her real estate holdings. However, the properties owned by her parents, former President Barack Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama, provide a glimpse into the luxurious living environments Malia has experienced. In 2019, the Obama family purchased a 29-acre estate on the upscale island of Martha's Vineyard. This 11.75 million US dollars property features seven bedrooms, including two guest wings, providing plenty of space for family and friends. The home is equipped with an outdoor pool and private access to a beach, making it a perfect summer retreat. The scenic beauty and privacy offered by this estate allow the family to unwind away from the public eye. Malia has likely spent many vacations and breaks from school here, enjoying the tranquility of the island. Given her creative work in filmmaking and writing, the serene setting may also offer inspiration for her projects. In Washington, D.C., the Obamas reside in a nine-bedroom Tudor-style mansion in the elite Calorama neighborhood, purchased for $8.1 million U.S. dollars. The home spans 8,500 square feet and sits on a quarter-acre lot, with features such as high ceilings, modern amenities, and family-friendly spaces. The Obamas bought this home after leaving the White House, and it became their primary residence while Malia was attending college. College at Harvard. Calorama is known for being home to political figures and diplomats, offering tight security and an exclusive community atmosphere. While Malia herself has not publicly shared details about any real estate she personally owns, it's clear that her early life and young adulthood have been spent in some of the most prestigious and secure homes in the country. With her burgeoning career in the entertainment industry, it's possible that she will invest in her own property in the near future continuing to live a life marked by privacy, luxury, and creativity. Do you believe that Malia's background has influenced her activism and career in a unique way? Let us know your thoughts below. Car Collections As of 2024, Malia Obama, the eldest daughter of former President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama, has kept her personal life fairly private, including details about her car collections. 
Unlike many other young celebrities who are often associated with luxury cars and high-profile vehicles, Malia has not been publicly linked to a particular collection of cars or an extravagant lifestyle involving automobiles. That being said, the Obama family is known for their modesty and down-to-earth approach to life, even in the face of wealth and privilege. Barack Obama himself, before becoming president, was known to drive a Chrysler 300C, a vehicle that reflected a balance between luxury and sensibility. During his presidency and afterward, of course, the family's transportation has been managed by the Secret Service, who ensures that their security is prioritized over flashy car choices. Malia Obama's relationships navigating privacy amid public curiosity. Malia Obama's relationships have often been a topic of public interest, though she has generally kept her personal life private. During her time at Harvard University, Malia was linked to Rory Farquharson, a British law student. Their relationship became public in 2017, when they were spotted together at a football game and later seen strolling around New York City. After her relationship with Farquharson, Malia was rumoured to be seeing Ethiopian music producer Dawit Eklund in 2022. The pair were spotted together in Los Angeles and New York City, though their relationship was never officially confirmed. Eklund, known for his work in electronic music, was a notable figure in the music industry, but details about their connection remain scarce. More recently, in late 2023, Malia was seen with rapper Amine, sparking speculation about a potential romance. The two were photographed having sushi in Los Angeles, leading to rumours of a relationship. Despite these sightings, there has been no official confirmation or detailed information about their connection. Throughout her life, Malia Obama has managed to keep her romantic relationships largely out of the public eye, reflecting her preference for privacy despite her high-profile family background. Her approach to her personal life highlights her desire to navigate her relationships away from the constant scrutiny of public attention. How do you think Malia has managed to balance her private and public life so effectively? Comment with your insights. Malia Obama's influence in philanthropy beyond the spotlight. Malia Obama's burgeoning career in entertainment promises more than just a salary. It opens doors to vast opportunities through her influential family connections. With access to a global network of leaders, moguls, and influencers, she is well positioned for lucrative deals and high profile endorsements. Yet, Malia's influence extends beyond financial gains. Echoing her parents' commitment to public service, she is actively engaged in philanthropy and advocacy. Her involvement in environmental causes, such as protests against the Dakota Access Pipeline and social justice movements like Black Lives Matter, highlights her dedication to meaningful change. Malia's charitable work includes volunteering at soup kitchens and supporting organizations focused on education and healthcare. These efforts not only align with her personal values, but also enhance her public image, making her a compelling figure for brands seeking to partner with socially responsible influencers. Future Financial Legacy of Malia Obama Malia Obama's future legacy and financial achievements is poised to be remarkable, reflecting her blend of talent, connections, and values. Leveraging her family's global network, Malia is well positioned to secure lucrative deals and impactful partnerships. Her involvement in high-profile projects and advocacy work will likely enhance her financial standing, setting the stage for a legacy of success. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the fascinating world of Malia Obama. If you enjoyed uncovering the layers of her remarkable life and want to stay updated on more intriguing stories and insights, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications.